Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we did our Explore Day, mandatory Explore Day for the month. <clears throat> we might have another one, but it'll at least be quicker because we've already talked to everyone, gotten all the quests and stuff out of the way. But we are going to finish exploring, which will bring us to an instruction day and then probably next a weekend on Sunday we will probably be going to do battles is what I'm thinking so probably keeping the same uh, group task until we recruit maybe Ingrid to be a wyvern rider instead of Cyril I guess Ash is working on it as well but Ash could be quite a ways away since he grows his flying slower. Everyone else is all good to go, so let's instruct. Um, we don't have great motivation, but we've got some. So we'll start with our highest at Manuela. No budding talents. Wait, we should check if uh, Hanuman has any budding talents. You think that teachers wouldn't have budding talents just because they probably would have explored that at some point. So, what can you do? You can You can do faith. You can do sword. We can actually get a lot of sword out of this. I don't even know that I'm going to use her for anything. So it kind of doesn't really matter what I do anyways. Oh boy. Let's do this again sometime, professor. You're so Let's do this again sometime. Mom, uneventful. Let's go to Ash. We'll work on his budding talent a little bit. Hopefully we can get some progress. I've learned a lot. Uh, I didn't That's mean to press that, but it worked out. So this is how it's done. <laughs> Can we get a star? I've learned a lot. No stars. All right, let's work on Flane's budding talent. We're actually two stars in, so starting off with a perfect. No need to just continue with the praises. All thanks to your help. Come on. Yes, third star. Budding talent. This unit now excels in the reason skill. Ability seal magic. I still have talent, I see. I would assume. So it just lowers their magic. So she's essentially a mage killing mage, is what you're telling me. Which is an interesting concept. So who else should we be looking at? We got Lawrence, got Hanuman, and we got Cyril. Let's do Hanuman. Check out what he's got going. Looks like he's doing bow and reason. Which is interesting. His horseback is also okay. I feel like he could be like a dark knight as well. That would require a lot of horseback. Plus I don't think I'm going to use him to begin with. So let's just only train his horseback, why not? We'll even change his goals. What are Manuela's goals? Oh, we'll, we'll check in a minute, I suppose. Uh, and then we'll do Cyril. Just work on his flying. Alright, let's, let's check Manuela and Hanuman's goals real quick. We're gonna change you 
to reason and writing. Because why not? You sure just stay on that. You can become a sword savant in your own imagination, I suppose. All right, we're done here. Professor. People say my muscles muscles will make me a great war master, and I've got nothing against working on my axe and brawling skills. What do you think? I mean, that's that's currently what you're doing, so sure. I think that's kind of odd. They should like come up to you and be like, I'm glad that you have put me on this. I am excelling towards becoming a war master. Instead of asking to change to the same thing. Perfect. It's a Christmas miracle. Zero leveled up. This isn't so hard. Lots of level ups on this later half. Oh yeah, getting the hang of it. Not as hard as I thought. It's all instinct now. I did change uh, Hilda to riding. Okay, good. Shoo. I assume today's gonna be a battle day from most people, which it is. Um. We won those steel gauntlets plus already. Certifications probably haven't made any progress. Right, Lysithia. Lysithia needs to get to level 20 today, preferably. But she doesn't have enough uh, reason, right? She needs to get to A in reason. So we should definitely work on that. Otherwise, Priest might be the best choice for her while she works on A and Reason, but at this point, uh, already too far gone from that. She does have 100% chance to actually pass the test. Liani's doing flying. I feel like Petra would also make a very good Falcon Knight, but I just kind of chose Assassin for her already. And I don't have a different Assassin plan, so... Oh, Hanuman could probably become a dark mage, huh? Is that what this is? Yes, it is. But really, I just want Lorenz to be my dark mage. I feel like it fits. How close is he to being able to pass this test? 66. Definitely don't want to use a dark seal on a 66% chance. That could go horribly wrong. But he'll be there soon. The problem is, is he's not currently using a class that could even cast magic. So he only gets any training in the classroom. So maybe I should have just instructed him today. I wasn't thinking about it. Alright, to the battlefield. Oh my gosh, we have so many things. Rare enemies approaching. This is level 20? It's a little bit high. So, we've got a whole bunch of paralogs. This is a Sothis. Followed by curious students. So, we're probably not going to do this mission. Well, actually, it's only going to be here today, right? Is that... Oh, that, that, hold on. No, hold on. I'm trying to look at the calendar. Rare monster sighting. Magic has spread across the land, causing mystical creatures to spring to life. Perhaps one such beast now stalks the field of battle. So, I feel like that is only today, right? Yeah, it's not going to be on the next one. So, we only have two battles that we can take. We got some time on these paralogs. 
So I was thinking that we, well, we could save this quest. Uh, hmm. The quest is just so low level. I don't expect it to boost our levels much to get ready for a level 20 encounter. But we could probably handle a level 20 encounter. a tough one why don't we go back save use this save that's not what I wanted to do and then try should we just start with this I think we should start with this and see if we can do it And if not, we have our old save. I feel like we should be able to take on... Well, this throws a wrench into things a little bit. Just use this. We should be able to take on um, a level 20 encounter. We just need to make sure we take our better units, probably. Not necessarily someone who's just trying to level up. The flame in the darkness. All right, so who do we have here? Don't want you assisting my character. <clears throat> oh, these guys came with intermediate seals. We should take those off immediately because I thought I had less intermediate seals than I have then. Just give me these. Wait, what? He had some weird magic spell, what the heck? Oh, Thoron. That's electricity, right? Yeah. Magic arrows. I haven't seen that spell. I think Lysithia has it though. Maybe. Does she have it? Where are you at, Lysithia? No. Oh, she has Seraphim. Effective against monsters. So that should be very good here. So obviously, we want my character. We want Claude. We need Hilda. Although, Hilda. I don't get why Hilda can't use her battalion. Oh, be probably because they're not heavy armored. Is that what it is? Because she's now a heavy armor unit. Well, maybe there's no such thing as heavy armor battalions? Attacks that rattle throws preventing them from moving. Poison. Well, let's try just giving her a different one because for some reason, for some reason, she couldn't use that one. And maybe she'll be able to use this one. So we want Lysithia. We want Leone. I think Ash needs to be subbed out. Oh, no, we're still in battalions. So Ash needs to be subbed out for Shamir. And I would like to bring Catherine as well. Lawrence is very good. Plus he has that blessed lance for fighting some monsters. Flane is just kind of like a secondary healer at the moment. She can clear status ailments, but I feel like Catherine's going to be more useful for this. And hopefully this will be good enough. Um, we do need to set an adjutant. Which could be Flane, actually. Flane could be an adjutant for someone. Who would it be? Oh, Lysithia can also heal, so we gotta remember that. Um, I 
Because Flame's probably going to be a healing adjutant, which I don't really know what that does. But if it heals the unit ever so often, then we might want it on Lawrence. Because he, he likes to take quite a bit of damage for being a tank. He's not really that tanky. So let's give him Flame. And then we just need to look at the map and see what's actually going on here. Where's the monster at? Where are these so-called monsters? These chests are still open. Ah, here we go. King of Wings. He has a rusted bow, which is probably a special bow. So, we're going to need to make sure that we take that down. And it's definitely going to interfere with our battle. So we're going to want our tankier units on the side with this dude. There's not another one in this corner. Nope. Okay. So, we probably want a Hilda over here. Because... This thing is definitely going to mix himself into the middle of the battle. Leone can move quickly, get to the other side. Uh, Catherine will probably try and hold this little bridge area. Claude can hold this one. Hilda can hold this one. And then we'll wait on this King of Wings. Alright, I think we got it figured out. Hopefully, we don't just get smashed. But I think we'll be okay. Most of my units are fairly strong. Let's zoom in, though. I don't like playing that far zoomed out. I'll crush them all. Let's keep it like this. You have a steel sword equipped, which is fine. To work. Shamir can get an early shot off here. I like the sniper's range. It is very nice. Um, I think we just have Leone sit like in between here for the moment. Who, me? Hilda. Start taking some attacks there. I stand ready. We'll just have Lawrence and Lysithio back you up for when anything actually happens. Claude is a lot tankier, I think. At least he's a lot harder to hit, it seems like. I will get the victory. Let's let Petra take these attacks. Not with the Armor Slayer, preferably. Not with that Iron Sword, so I guess with this. Well, actually, I want Petra to train with her bow. Ready and willing. While I don't really want Claude to train with his bow, so... Claude will take the attacks. Petra will sit on a bow. And then if Marianne sits, uh... Right here, then she can aid uh, Claude when he gets attacked and I guess my character I don't know what that King of Wings is gonna do so I'll get closer to the battle first well that guy missed both of his attacks which is very fortunate for me
This guy, however, does not miss. Well, he missed one. Claude is level 20. But Claude still needs to hurry up and master Brigand first. You have run into a brick wall. What will you do? It's coming at me, huh? That's what I was hoping would not happen. Well, I think everyone right here needs to leave then. So, Leone, can you finish this guy? Yes. That's actually a pretty good level up for what it's worth. Like, not many stats, but the two most important stats for you. So, we need to switch all of our attention over to that King of Wings. Uh, Petra, just kill this guy real quick. So, people who have, like, Monsters Bane, or Bane of Monsters, Petra. Claude does not. I can't remember, do you have a... No, that doesn't hit beasts harder. So she doesn't necessarily have anything. Catherine has Bane of Monsters. Uh, Shamir has Monster Blast. I have Bane of Monsters. So we could really just have Claude keep tanking here for a while. While everyone else kind of switches their attention. Let's save Dark Spikes and Seraphim for the monster. Does this kill? That does 34 damage? My goodness. I just worked harder. So I'm trying to get Lysithia to get her reason to be. But that might be a little bit tough. Now how do we want this guy to approach us? We could fight him on these squares. Why don't you heal up Claude? <laughs> Sorry. And then... I feel like we probably just leave Claude here. Because... I, I assume since the King of Wings is going to attack me first, that these guys are going to try and attack me from behind. Wow, that's amazing. Sorry. Victory is mine. Plus, Claude needs more battles, so. These guys are moving in a very interesting direction. Hmm. The King of Wings appears to be going for the other dudes. 
Do you have Bane of Monsters or just that Blessed Lands? So he just has the Blessed Lands. But we're going to want to attack him from both directions. So we're going to need some Bane of Monsters over on this side, as well as behind him. Unless he moves. I want to draw him further in, but these guys are preventing that. Because these guys are probably all going to rush him down. So we'll put Hilda at the front. Hmm, Petra's gonna get attacked if she goes here. Which is annoying. Could just have Claude come cut you off. Does Leone have any Bane of Monsters? She has Monster Piercer. But only with lances. But that's fine. I'm pretty sure she has a lance on her. Yeah, she's got a lance. So, I think we'll hover you in between. Um, Shamir can pretty much hit any part of him. Because she's a sniper. So that makes her a lot easier to place. I mean, Lysithia could probably attack from here, but... We'll hold off for one turn when everyone can attack. And then Claude will just rack up uh, class mastery over here. That seems like a mistake, but you do you, I suppose. Goodbye, sir. Critical as well, huh? We'll, we'll see if the bird actually moves. Like I said, we would like the bird to move, but we can deal with it in this position. Oh. Well, that was a mistake. You're dead. <laughs> we also gotta make sure that none of the enemies are the ones that actually kill this thing. Did it just move? It just made itself dramatically harder to deal with for me. Because now it has water next to it. Alright, so... Two tiles away from him is unsafe. One of his things is broken. I guess we'll just have Hilda hold them off right here. Well, actually what we could do, now that he's all the way on this island by himself, we could have Lawrence flip him into us and just have Hilda hold this corner or Hilda and Claude together or something like that. Might not be the worst thing that's ever happened. So we could either go here. I think this gives us more options. 
Lysithia and Shamir are going to want to be on the island because they can target any square with their incredible range. Don't want to go on that corner spot. So Claude and Hilda are going to hold this. I need to get onto the island. Marianne can kind of do whatever. Catherine would also like to be on this island. And Hilda will just wait here. Uh, Claude, you might as well win one fight. Make it a little bit easier on yourself. That's the golden deer for you. <clears throat> really good level up. If Claude could kill the boss of these bandits, that would be good, because then his item wouldn't go to the monster. The King of Beasts is actually taking a lot of damage to these bandits. We might need to like think about protecting the King of Beasts from the bandits. Because I want that item drop. My Iron Axe broke. That's annoying. Claude is so tanky, man. Well, this is unfortunate. So how is he positioned now? Because this messes up a lot of stuff. He appears to just be perfectly on top of this building. Ah, this is so frustrating. How do we fight this thing? It appears to only have one extra health bar too. So we should probably go all in on it right now. The problem that I see is some units aren't going to be able to get to ideal ranges. And we need this man to die. Okay, Nosferatu kills him. Let's start with that. I can't afford to lose. I wonder so, we need to make sure this guy gets stunned this turn, otherwise it's going to create problems for me. She does appear to be able to use her gambit now. Is the gambit going to accomplish what I want? Hold on. So, Catherine can get an attack in. Petra can get an attack in. Both of them have Bane of Monsters. Lysithia, I don't think, can reach. Maybe from here? Oh, she can. So Lysithia can reach, but it's going to be this corner right here that it hits. Petra can't get to this corner. 
So Shamir would probably be shooting at this back corner here. Oh, Leone can get over here as well. So if Leone hits this back corner first, first of all, it'll take all of his health. Okay, I think we can do this. That actually looked really cool. Okay, so he's still got these two. Which should be pretty breakable by us. Petra is currently in the way. But if she goes here and uses Bane of Monsters... He won't get to attack back. So let's see if this attack works, first of all. That sucks really hard. You're trying to get my whole squad killed, aren't you? Alright, well let's try this then, with Seraphim. That was a very lackluster spell. Did it break that one? It did break that one. Oh, this one got remade? When? That's really bad. I don't know how that one got remade, but that's going to cause quite a bit of issues. So that would mean that instead we need Shamir So Shamir can shoot diff two different spots I don't understand He's like armor broken on one of them and the other one kills him? I want him to drop whatever his material is. But it's looking like that might not even be an option. Just because how things have worked out might not actually happen. I don't know when this spot regenerated, that kind of sucks. So if we just do a normal attack, that's not gonna work. But Catherine can't reach that other back square. So I guess I just need to hit this other back one. Well, they're all cracked, right? Are they cracked? I think they might be cracked. Now all of a sudden, neither of them kill. What happened? Whatever. So make this shot. And then hopefully Catherine can finish the fight. Well, can you finish it here? 
No, not really. So, what we should use Hilda for is to block people from getting to it. She should go right there. Now we have two chances at this, and that's it. It's going to be Catherine gets a chance and Claude gets a chance if Catherine fails. So don't mess it up, preferably. We could always pull out Thunderbrand. Bane of Monsters. Only a 54% chance. But with Steel Gauntlets, she could do it with Steel Gauntlets, I'm thinking. So I think we do that. She has a much higher chance with these Gauntlets. I, won't hold back. I don't know if killing and breaking the last plate at the same time... Okay, we still got the bonus. Cool. So it does work. You can kill the enemy with the same hit that you break the last plate and still get the reward for breaking all the plates. And now I guess we just have a fight on our hands. Would like to make sure Leone doesn't just die. I feel like Claude, to make sure Leone doesn't die, ooh, or no, to make sure Hilda doesn't die is what I meant to say. But he can't do that. This should help, though. No time like the present. We've never actually used this one. Never underestimate Hopefully it doesn't hit Hilda? Doesn't appear to have hit her, so... Wow, we dodged three of those on a 58% chance for him to hit? That's amazing. Progress suits me well. Just doesn't appear to be their day. Oh wow. Also, Leone has close counter, so she can actually do this with a bow. Or she counters a melee unit. Too easy. Alright, well I think everything worked out very nicely. And we have this special rusted bow. This bow can be forged into Parthia. Never heard of it. Didn't we also get our first piece of mithril? Which is very good. Okay, crush him. Well, she's level 20 now. Oh, she can still move. Might as well just, like, move away. I don't think uh, Lysithia is going to be able to be part of this battle. But Petra can. So she's level 20 now. War feeds my body and mind. We got the boolean from him. 
Claude's working on mastering that class, but it's still gonna be a little while. We should definitely make sure that Marianne casts a spell because she just needs a few more fights to actually master her class. Thanks for that. How's Shamir doing? I'm also really far from mastering my class. I need to at least equip the correct weapon. So do we just take this last one as Claude? Do we give it to Hilda? I think Catherine can get it as well. I'm thinking Claude because he needs to hurry up and master Brigand. Alright, well, that's a little bit harsh. Is mine. Admiration. Three thousand nine hundred dollars. That went very well. And then we'll probably try and do one of the paralogs, I guess. So this one only lasts till January 25th, level 15. So let's go ahead and do it. And I doubt we can forge that bow, but at some point we should try. Hmm. What was that name again? Oh, this is frustrating me to no end. I simply can't recall. Oh, I have it. Xanado. That's it. It was not long ago that we were there. And still, I somehow managed to forget. Well, that place brought back some fragments of my memory. I cannot help but wonder why. I feel we must return to find some answers there. Alright, let's do it. Yes, you are right. For as the saying goes, there is no time like the present. Where's our professor going all alone like that? I hate not knowing what's going on. Okay, that's it. Let's gather the others and get to the bottom of this. You want to follow our teacher? What a pain. Ugh. But I guess I'm dying of curiosity too. Yes, it is all coming back to me. This structure. Oh, but it's as though my memories are clouded. The most important pieces are obscured. But I once called this home. I have no doubt. I seem to recall something on the other side of that wall. I cannot see it, but I can still feel it. It is not my imagination. I know this to be true. We are already deep within this valley. <laughs> That awful sound. Yes, and that was not a normal beast, but a huge and terrifying one. Look, there at the entrance of the valley, a giant shadow. Well, I guess we're doing another monster fight, probably.
probably going to flip around our squad a little bit as well because it's a paralog and it has required units. Mm, I guess it didn't really change anything because the required units are what we already have. I thought maybe there was a chance that like Sothis would join in some way, but doesn't appear to be the case. Who is Flane helping? Flane is helping me. We should have... Who were we having Flane help? Lawrence last time? Maybe have Flane help Hilda. Because Hilda's constantly getting into fights. Go here, save. Let's check out the map. Where are, oh my goodness. Oh, there's another chest. Oh, there's more back here. Oh my. There's a lot of things. Well, we should probably get a chest key. Because I think we have a few of those in storage. And then how the heck are we going to do this? I guess Hilda can't switch with Claude. But Shamir should go more to the middle. Lysithia, Marianne, more to the middle. That should help. Assuming that these don't actually move and they just kind of wait for us to pick up the professor, we should be okay. But if they do move right away, we might have an issue. We need to deal with this one first, though, I think. Alright, and let's make sure we grab a chest key. I would like to give it to Lawrence, because I think he can reach the... The thing right away. Oh, we only have one chest key. Should probably make sure we buy some chest keys. Alright, let's do it. to follow teach but however you look at it we're in a tough spot now wolves hawks not to mention a demonic beast guarding the canyon's entrance oh, we should never have come here don't say that but what's a demonic beast doing here is it a stray even teach would have trouble out here all alone let's help out before we're down one professor First things first, we need to reunite with Teach. Hurry up, everyone. All right, so. We need to figure out how we're going to deal with this dude. Let's get Leone can get all the way over here, which is very good. Because that means less people that actually need to get around the beast. And Shamir can probably snipe this spot. So we should be able to just break all of them on this turn. So let's see how this works really quick. Because I don't know, because breaking this plate, does it cancel his attack? I think it does. Alright, let's just try breaking the plate. 
Okay, he still gets to attack. So we need to be careful then. To work. So we want to break. Ooh, I don't want him to die too fast. Is the thing though. So Shamir is doing too much damage. Leone's also doing quite a bit of damage. Hmm. I don't see any way that we can break all of these. Oh, this guy does have a second health bar. So we should still be okay. So if we now have, oh, what? Oh, I'm supposed to move again. Why don't you just move away then? So if we have Shamir break this far back one. Now I'm hoping that maybe I can just one shot him with Lysithia. I'll grow as strong as I can. Leave it to me. So Lysithia should be able to attack from here. She can pretty much kill him, but she needs to actually hit this. Ooh, the fire would actually be way better. Is there anything else even better? No, I think we go with the fire. It makes way more sense. We got some steel. And who do we give the kill to? Who's low level? Really no one anymore. So it should either go... Wait, can Catherine even reach? No. So I'll just give it to Lawrence then. Oh wow, he hits these really hard, what the heck? You can't compete with me. They're also not worth that much XP. Oh, but Lawrence is the guy with the chest key, right? Ah. Forgot to go for the chest. So what is this guy doing? He doesn't appear to be doing anything, which is odd. Who, me? I guess Hilda took a little bit of damage. Marianne's about to master that class as well. I'll crush them all. We'll go back to sword for now, but the brawler gloves might be where it's at. Stay focused. Oh, they're intent on attacking me, which is why. 
they don't move. So I think if I do nothing then we'll be in the best place. Oh, there was apparently XP here as well. Very good Such level up though. Except for speed. I would have liked some speed. Okay, did it move too far? Claude can still hit it. Uh, Lawrence, start going this way. I need you to go open that chest. What level is Hilda? She could use his XP. So, can Shamir hit it from here? Nope. So we want to, I guess, make sure that this one doesn't have a target for this next turn. So my plan for that is to move over here and gambit him. Now's our chance. Does that break two plates? Does it break any plates? It did break two. So we can actually break all of his plates this turn, I believe. So all we have to do is send Claude right here. He can break that plate. Nice. And then Leone should be able to break the last one. Now, hopefully he can't retaliate, but... It looks like he'll be able to attack. Can Petra kill him? Yes. So just kill him then. So now we just got one guy down here left, which we want to set up so we can actually finish off in one turn, preferably. He's in a very awkward position, because so I can't quite get around here. But we got a lot of archers. So, if I walk up right here, should I save my gambits? I only have one gambit charge left. Could also use Hilda's gambit. How do we want to do this? Because Hilda and Catherine can only reach the exact same spot. But we have four archers that could probably hit all the separate squares. So 
So I guess we could sh start with Shamir. Have her hit that back square. Hmm. It's actually not a great chance unless we use the curved shot. But we. Oh, Monster Blast doesn't do enough damage to be worth it. So I guess just curve shot him. Because we need this hit. Oh, you can attack back at this range? You're throwing rocks? Excuse me? I didn't think he'd be throwing rocks at me, but okay. So Petra... Oh, I'm gonna need you to curve shot. So you can land that one. A crit, huh? That should take out this health bar. Alright. Now Lysithia. She has a pretty high chance of just hitting that. And we got one plate left. We could really have anyone here take it. I think we want to give Leone the kill. Oh, never mind. It's probably going to be whoever takes this gets the kill. I see. Oh, Leone might not get the kill, but she could try. She could try using her Lance ability as well. The Steel Lance just straight up kills, so... out her battalion too. Alright, good work. Just end on that item. You don't need that. Alright, so now we need to make our way back up here. Difficult for cavalry to traverse? That's annoying. Maybe dismount then? And then start sending everyone back up this direction. So this is going to be tough. We're probably going to be fighting multiple monsters at the same time. Oh, that's not good. Ow, he hit me with one damage. Oh boy. What is this? Great, more hawks. Those 
feathery jerks are trying to take us out from both sides. Thinking, unfortunately, Lawrence is in a very bad place. But the best way to take this fight would be to fight everything down here. Running out to fight them is very bad. So, I think what needs to happen is Lawrence needs to retreat for now because we can't get that chest at the moment. It's just too difficult. Everyone needs to start backing up. We need to fight all the monsters down here first. How are we gonna do this? Uh, just stay slightly out of range. Free XP. It, oh, I thought that gave reason, but it just gave faith. This guy's a jerk. Trying to think if I can like juke this bird somehow and actually get to the chest. That doesn't seem like a very good move. So. There's so many birds. Can you attack from here? You can. But we might want to move her up one so she can hit that back square. What's your highest damaging ability here? Looks like it's probably Seraphim. Seraphim does not have a great hit rate though. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. Uh, we should probably try and use reason spells more as well because that's what's holding Lysithia back at the moment. go here, use your bow to target that back one. Not as hard as I thought. Uh, I don't really want to move again too badly but oh no we should probably have you just sit in the way don't let people get to Lysithia if at all possible is 
So he now also has Darting Blow. But that's only if he initiates combat. Oh, how did that happen? Hmm. I guess it's gonna need to be a combat art. character can come in here. Ooh, that's not a great hit, right? That's a much better hit, right? So I guess we'll do this for maximum hit, right? Each battle, a chance to grow. There's some more mithril, which we need. So what are you doing here? These guys need to keep backing out. But, if we back out just barely out of his range, then next turn we could probably attack back. Oh shoot, he's going for Lawrence though. So maybe I make Claude into a target? Because we need him to come down here. But where would be the best place for him to be? Like right here? We could definitely do this. Sit on the heel tile. Not really worried about four damage. POA. All right, but Petra did take down one block already. Lawrence can actually just come help with this, right? Probably use the Iron Lance for the higher chance to hit. Still trying to consider how I would go about getting this chest. I think somehow I need to juke this guy. And while my team fights him, Lawrence needs to go get the chest. Which might involve Lawrence running all the way around. Seems like the best way. So Claude's the only one with a bow here. Thirteen? Ugh, that's horrible. Well, to break this... Oh, well, Claude can go over here, I suppose. 
Yeah, that's probably the best. But Catherine can get a free attack in right here. Gauntlets, I suppose, because they're more accurate. Swords are not very good against these guys. Claw just one-shots you? Come on, man. I'll try with the Iron Axe then. Because we just need him to hit once with the Iron Axe. Or actually, what is your range? I don't like that. But. In theory, you could do this. Mastered Priest. Okay, I've got it now. What does Miracle do? Oh, I think it's an ability that she does not currently have the ability to check or equip. Okay, so... I kind of want Shamir to get this kill over here if it's possible. The silver bow would kill. Steel bow. I don't really want to use the shots of the silver bow yet. So steel bow heavy draw should give her the kill. Mithril? We need like 10 Mithril. I think we have three now. Well, Claude's gonna need to go this way anyway. It'll be faster. How are we, hmm, how are we going to do this? We need to make sure that my character is delivering one of the killing blows, because I am in melee. Bane of Monsters will do it right here. So let's do that. Good thing you can't like overkill things and have it do damage to their next health bar. So to keep Lysithia gaining reason but not gaining levels, I'm just gonna take a normal fire attack right here. Petra is going to break that back. And if she crits, then that's fine. Okay. 
At least she hit one of them. I am greater now. I guess Leone finished this. Can you finish it with a sword? Yes. New strategy, give Leone the key, and she can fly over this wall. Really? Please- oh, you can't crit. Okay. That's a lot of damage, though. Are you kidding me? Warhawks? The air's swarming with those feathered freaks. Let's get them before we fight the beast. See, I guess Hilda sometimes just heals with flame. Or maybe she heals people around her? Because it looks like Marianne got the heal. Ugh, he can't reach Leone. Dang it. So, we might want to burn another gambit, but since we have four people, four people is pretty much enough to take down a monster. Curve shot him. Oh my gosh, you'd live with one HP. Catherine can only help if Hilda swaps to here. So if she uses Smash, that has the highest hit rate. Lawrence can just run this way over to Leone. Unfortunately, Leone needs to fight this turn still, so... How are we going to do this? If Leone attacks this front square... That's a one-shot. Hmm... I would very much like to get the Mithril, because we need that. So even though this says it's going to be a double attack, it's just going to be a single attack, because the sword will break. Can't get around to that side. So Lysithia is probably going to have to hit that far one then.
We have a 94 with this grounder move. Alright, that's good. Now Lysithia should break this far one. And then Leone can maybe get the kill. Hopefully she can get the kill, otherwise we might have a problem. But she was going to be able to one-shot a health bar earlier, so... I figure why not now. Okay, she looks like she could still do it. This is a lot of monsters. I didn't expect them to just keep throwing more and more and more at us. More Mithril. You can start walking towards uh, Lawrence. Actually, if you go right here, that might be close enough to get to the chest if Lawrence hands you the key. So, this guy over here, if we want to break that, then you are going to have to go here, plus use a combat art to hit that. And then we would like Shamir to get this kill. We might need Marianne to move. Thanks for that. So if you go here, we'll start with the Iron Bow. Oh, you one shot with the Iron Bow. Sweet. Alright, easy stuff so far. So that's like five or six Mithril now. And we don't want to fight that beast up there, preferably. Mostly because not everyone can get up there fast enough. Uh, trade. Ooh. She has a full inventory. Do that. And then Lawrence can start to move back to the squad. But everyone needs to back up. Because we would rather fight in this open area down here on our terms. Instead of on his terms. Make sure some people can get behind. Leone's gonna go open this chest real fast. A knowledge gem? What does that even mean? What is this? A mysterious gem that supports skill acquisition. Increase the number Increases the amount of skill experience earned. So is this like something that you can equip? That seems very good and we should give it to Lysithia probably. Appreciated. 
We also need to replenish uh, battalions, as I'm seeing. Also, don't be afraid to use battalions in this next fight. Oh, he has to take the stairs. How convenient. Might give us time to hand off this item to Lysithia. Wait, but she has... She has two things equipped, so I don't think it would help with her. Maybe I should give it to my character, because my character doesn't get XP very often. Or skill experience very often. Give me this knowledge gem. Automatically equipped it. Alright, and then Hilda. Get down here. I think everyone else is in pretty reasonable position. Shamir can get as far away as possible. Lawrence over here. Lysithia will be able to hit any square we want. Who's still going? Claude, you're good here. I feel like any ranged for this is incredibly strong. Mm, now the question is, do we want to back up one more time? Because he's not really out in the open like I wanted. But he can definitely hit this back wall, so Catherine might not even be able to get out, actually. Can you help with the fight? You can. Just my character can't help with the fight. Everyone else should be able to do their job. So... I think if Hilda gets in front of him, then he can no longer walk past. So we should have Hilda start out with her gambit, probably. So, poison him. That might break multiple crests. No, nah, I just broke the one. Oh, it cracked all the other ones, though. They weren't cracked before, right? I'm not just crazy. That's actually insane if it just cracked all of them. So Lawrence should probably try and get a kill here. As well as Marianne picking up at least one of the health bars would be nice. She can do quite a bit of damage as well. So I said that you can hit that. So go ahead and start with that. This gives Marianne a chance to pick up a health bar. There's still a long way to go. Really good level up as well. Now Marianne can pick up this. Um, 
pretty bad level up. <laughs> Alright, so, I feel like Leone should just hit this last one because there's not really a better person to do it, plus it's the only spot Leone can really hit. Venom stones. I think we needed some of those for one of, for some upgrade, like some poison weapon or something. So what's this guy doing? He's just attacking Hilda because Hilda's just blocking the entire path. So. means that all the bow people... Well, actually, can he even retaliate at the moment? Can we just be hitting him with swords? Yeah, we can. So Petra, Claude could probably hit him with a sword. I would like Shamir to pick up a nether health bar if possible. So she'll pick up this one. A lot of good XP for her. Strength is all for a mercenary. And we're on to his final health bar. He's gonna do eight damage to Hilda. That's the most threatening thing he could do. Wait, Catherine could use the XP probably the most. So let's see what all of her weapons do. So she can one-shot with Gauntlets or Thunderbrand. So can we get Claude some more XP first then? Claude has a pretty high chance of one-shotting. I don't know if I trust that one. <laughs> We're gonna have Petra attack with his broken sword. The broken iron sword. Are you gonna kill him? Okay, she's not gonna kill him. I thought there was a chance that she just kills with a broken iron sword against this epic beast. All right, Catherine. We've done it. Catherine gets to level 19 as well. I like that every health bar is like killing the enemy. It's very nice. Uh, I mean that level up isn't the worst thing in the world because it's strength. Pretty much if you get speed or strength, you're probably happy. Our work is done. My my, things did not go as planned. I mean, they went pretty fine. Like, they caught off us caught us off guard, but we hardly took any damage except for one turn from Marianne, but then she healed all that up. I now realize that she probably healed it up by standing next to uh, Lawrence because she has that animal healing when she's next to animals. Let us return before any more hawks or wolves join us. But what was that demonic beast doing within the Red Canyon? MVP is Shamir. Kind of surprising she didn't... like. I definitely forced her to get some kills, but I didn't think like My 
she was the one doing all the work. But I guess there's unsung things that you gotta take into account, like Hilda. No one likes aimless wandering more than me, but it's not worth dying over. Well, we're all okay now, so let's just focus on the positive. Oh, maybe we can tell folks back at the monastery that we came here for battle training, with our dear professor's permission. Hilda, <laughs> you scamp. No one has a knack for getting out of trouble quite like you do. It is a gift, milady. Oh, is that right? Well, no one can get into trouble quite like you, so it works out. Oh dear, I put us in a bit of danger there. <laughs> yeah, this is all your fault, what the hell? We are most fortunate that those delinquents followed us. We very nearly met your end. <laughs> what a marvelous professor you must be for all your students to be so concerned. I mean, you've been watching the entire time. You know how great I am. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of us that we were able to take on that many monsters. Hmm. You seem more confident in your ability to teach. But that makes sense, as you have me to help you out. Have you helped me in any way with this nonsense? <sighs> how disappointing to have dived so deeply into danger. And yet to have nothing to show. Huh? What is this strange feeling? My memories. Do you feel them stirring? How curious. You seem to have grown stronger. And all thanks to our journey to Xanado. It really was worth all that effort. How did I get stronger though? Huh? You found this? dare say you may find a use for that. You should decide how best to use that thing. But wow, we got a lot out of this trip. Did we get it was some a cool stuff? For a spell, but in the end, I feel we should think fondly of our little trip. We actually had a delightful time, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Divine Pulse Maximum has increased. Alright, that must be what she meant. Now what is the thing that we found? If it's the knowledge gem, then I'm not that psyched. Umbral steel. Alright, fair enough. Good, high level smithing materials are always good. Whether I have excitement over them right now, as I don't think we have anything to make with it, is not as prevalent at the moment. Just slow loading screen. If only I could actually interact with the little character besides just jumping. Well, I guess we gotta do this instruction because I'm probably gonna go to bed after this episode anyways. So, any goals that need to change before we do this? It really should allow my professor to at least do this training stuff, like the individual studying. Like, I get that that's what the explorer is supposed to be, but come on, like, this is so much free XP that everyone gets, but the professor does not. No one's got any motivation, though. So that's a little bit annoying. So I guess we'll just be instructing the three that actually have some motivation to speak of. We need to increase your reason. Because we want you to become a dark mage as soon as possible. That's not going to help, but maybe your individual studies will get you over the line. Um, as long as you don't get a good here... That should be enough to level up your brawling. Alright, well. And Shamir, you're doing a sword to unlock the mercenary class. So I guess just keep doing that. Let's do this again. Let's do this again. This should level you up. Oh, perfect. That wasn't difficult. 
Technique never betrays. Your praise is appreciated. I think we need at least C in sword. You're a good professor. Alright, well that went pretty well for her at least. Never mind the fact that we don't actually have any motivation, but I do realize that we can now use um, all the gifts we've been giving out to random house people to increase our motivation instead. We can just give it to people that we want to instruct for the week. Or even multiple, like more than that, because we're probably going to have multiple instruction sessions after a single explore. Let's begin the lecturing. It'd be really useful if I could fire a bow more accurately from horseback. Think we could work on riding along with my bow skills? Uh, no. You're already using a bow plenty while flying, even though there is no class that supports that. But it seems cool, and it's working pretty well. I would definitely rather have you be a good... Um... Watch him, who's it? Falcon Knight. So that's gonna be a negatory boss. Oh, there's some holiday or event or something. Oh, hey, Dorothea might actually join our house now. Hey there, Professor. I was thinking it might be nice to join your class. I'm not unhappy where I am, but I was just thinking that maybe if I was with you. Well, I might learn even more. You're the kind of gal a girl could pay attention to, you know? I do know. <sighs> That's great! I'm looking forward to spending more time with you, Professor. So we need to make sure we get her goals right as well. What is this holiday? Kingdom of Fargus Founding Day. Yeah, why would I not do this? Just like free XP or motivation or anything. This is so good. Can I have seconds? I like this dish. It was my father's favorite. Maxed out motivation. And professor XP. So good. Well, they did something. It's better than nothing. Oh my god, Lawrence, you're 3 XP away! How could you betray me like this? I think I get it now. So this is how it's done. Marianne's birthday. Let's have a tea party with Marianne. We gotta. Uh, I don't know what kind of tea. And maybe this one. Seems like Marianne's style. Did you need something from me? Thank you very much. Delicious. Yes. Cats. Yes. I got it. <laughs> Speak of animals. Exploring the monastery, working hours for guards, favorite sweets. I don't know that she likes sweets. Okay, we've done it. Oh, do, you don't want to count on her. I don't think... All these suck. 
Ugh. I didn't know. I didn't know. Thank you very much for the tea. I look forward to doing this again. So we might have to do some tea parties with uh, Dorothea. Because who can take advanced exams? Oh, we also got an advanced seal. How huh? nice. But we might have to look at it for Dorothea because what kind of supports are we looking at? Quite a few. Probably won't do them right now. Just because this needs to come to an end sometime. <laughs> It's getting pretty long. Mostly I'm worried about Dorothea's goals. She seems to be doing sword and reasoning. Well, we can't see if she has budding talents. She has a budding talent in faith, so we should probably try and unlock that. Um, I think she wants to stay in sword, and she needs charm. So, like you saw, the tea parties increase charm. So we need to make sure that she has high charm to pass the test to actually become a dancer. But 14 might already be high enough, as is. We There's a way where we can figure out what number she needs to get above, but we won't be able to know until she actually starts the quest. But 14 is pretty good. As far as I saw, the quest that I saw someone else demonstrate required him to get to 13. So 14 is already higher than that. Granted, it might be more because it might not be a set number. It might be random. But one tea party could always increase the charm level by one. And we could do other things. I'm sure we have like uh, one of those items that we get from uh, gardening that would also increase charm. So we could probably get two or three pretty easy if we do multiple tea parties. But yeah, so... So I'm starting to really question the fact that, or if them training on their own can actually unlock these stars. I think the answer is just no. So... Unless I plan on actually doing anything with that, it's probably bad to have them learn it on their own. But Dorothea, I think I want her to learn Faith because although a dancer probably is going to be using the dance almost every turn, you might as well have like some support abilities other than that. I think dancers also use swords as their weapons, so it's good that she is using a sword. So I'll keep her on sword and go for faith. And hopefully we can unlock that budding talent. I think we have most budding talents now. Ash is still working on his, but Flame got hers. Hanuman and Manuela don't even have budding talents. These guys don't have budding talents. So I think it's just Dorothea and Ash at the moment. We'll see if Ingrid has one. We need to hurry up and get your stupid reason up. But I think that's gonna do it for this one. We should make sure that Dorothea has items. She's a golden apple? What does this do? Charm. Okay, we'll store that. I know we have multiple golden apples, so that means for a fact, we have the item that increases charm, and we can increase her charm as necessary. But her items are all looking good. We have a whole bunch of supports, but I just don't want to do them right now. We'll probably do them in the next one. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed this one. We went to the Red Canyon, fought, I don't know, nine monsters, eight, nine monsters. It was quite a bit. Killed them all. The only one who even got, like attacked and threatened was Marianne, but that she just regained all that health, so it ended up being fine. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time.